Hello and welcome to Akshu's Kitchen. Today we will see how to prepare palak paneer for which we will need the following ingredients to serve approximately 2 to 3 people. 150 grams of spinach leaves or palak leaves, 2 medium sized tomatoes, 1 small onion, 4 large cloves of garlic and 1 medium sized piece of ginger, 2 green chilies and some coriander leaves. We are using green chilies instead of chilli powder to get the green color and 100 ml of fresh cream, 200 grams of paneer, 1 teaspoon of coriander powder, half teaspoon of garam masala powder, half teaspoon of cumin powder, quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder and quarter teaspoon of dry mango powder that is the amchur powder, 3 to 4 whole green cardamoms, 5 to 6 whole cloves and 3 to 4 medium pieces of cinnamon and 3 4 teaspoon of salt. First I have some boiling water in my pan to which I am going to add my spinach leaves and I am going to cook it for just 1 or 2 minutes till it is soft and I am going to remove it out and drain it in a bowl separately and then I am going to grind this along with the coriander leaves and the two green chillies into a fine paste and keep it aside ready. Next in the pan I am going to add about 2 to 3 tablespoons of oil and when it is hot I am going to add the whole spices and fry it and add the one small onion which I have finely chopped into small pieces. Just give it a fry for 1 or 2 minutes and then add the ginger and garlic paste which I have already grinded. Again saute it for a few seconds and add the two medium sized tomatoes again which I have finely chopped. Fry it until the tomatoes become juicy and pulpy and now they are ready. At this stage I am going to add all the spice powders, the coriander powder, amchur powder, turmeric powder, cumin powder and garam masala powder. Just fry it for a second and immediately I am going to add the spinach paste which I have already grinded and kept ready. So when you are boiling the spinach leaves, boil it without a lid so that you get a good green color like this. Also add another half a cup to one cup of water according to the consistency required and allow it to come to a boil and finally add the 3 4 teaspoon of salt and now it is almost in the perfect consistency but a little thick but don't worry we have still the cream to add so it will get diluted a little bit more. Now add the double cream or heavy cream and your palak paneer is almost ready. More people doesn't like to add this cream but I personally like it because it gives a really silky and smooth effect to your curry. Finally I am going to add the uh, paneer which I have cut into small pieces and allow it to simmer it for a minute so that it absorbs the flavor of the palak essence and now it is ready. You can serve it with any roti of your choice. Try it and you will really love it. Thank you for watching Akshu's Kitchen.